Testing of a safety relief valve is extremely critical to the safety of your system. These actually didn't make it. Today on The Boiling Point, we're going to be talking with valve professional Rick Walker and how to professionally test these safety valves. Well, we're here at our test stand and going to kind of go over the test stand and talk a little bit about what's entailed uh, when Rick actually does the test. Again, this is something that anytime you do a test that you want to make sure that you're getting with a valve professional and uh, not try to do this stuff on your own. Um, Rick, you've got a large pipe wrench. Yes, sir. We, we work on big valves also. Wow. Good size. Good size. Well, why don't you take us through the, um, the gauges and, and why you have two, mm -hmm. and then a little bit about the test as it's set up. Okay. We have two gauges on the steam stand. Uh, they're certified calibrated gauges. Uh, we get those certified every six months. Um, the reason why we have two gauges is because just in case one gauge uh, is not reading right, it could be plugged or there, it could just be out of calibration. So. Uh, it, it's real important to use two gauges just for accuracy. So you've got the uh, gauges set at right now, or what, what do you have them set at, the pressure for the boiler? Um, as of right now, I have it at about 129 PSI. Okay, 129 PSI. Yes. We've got our relief valve it's set, set on a, the stand. It's set at 150 and PSI. And it's a 150 PSI. And I'm assuming the way that this works is that you're actually going to raise the pressure on the relief valve, yes. and then it should lift at that 150. Yes, should okay. be 150. Now, as far as the lifting, um, just because it lifts, does that mean that it's that it's right, or are you actually listening for something uh, that makes it I am uh, right? I'm not only looking for set pressure, I'm looking for the performance of the valve. The valve does have to perform properly. Uh, the ring settings, they can be adjusted at this point also. Uh, on a smaller valve like this. Um, the ring settings, uh, you, you want a good clean pop. You don't want a lot of simmer. You don't want a, a lot of chatter. You just want a good clean pop out of a safety valve. It's, uh, it's pretty critical on a boiler that the valve lifts at a certain pressure and it receipts at a certain pressure. So again, uh, kind of a trained ear. You've been doing this a long time. And we, you definitely, you know, whether you use uh, the valve shop, but any other valve shop that you use for any type of lift, making sure that you're using somebody that's got some experience that really knows what that valve should, should uh, function like, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, you've got the valve up there. Um, as far as setting it, we didn't really talk a little about this compression screw, but yes. that's really what you've been doing. The, uh, the compression screw, what the compression screw does, it puts compression on the spring, which in turn, there's a spindle in there. It transfers the force to the disc, which is the movable seat. Uh, when your pressure e equalizes, the valve begins to simmer, of course, and that's where you get your pop. Now, your adjustment is made by the compression screw, of your set pressure adjustment. Uh, you do have the ring adjustments. They are, you've got some ring pins that you, you pull out and the ring can go up or down depending on uh, how you need to adjust the rings for the performance of the valve. Okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and lift, um, lift this relief valve, put your earplugs in, cameraman, put your earplugs in. I'm always anticipating this, about ready to make my heart jump. And I'm never on time knowing when it's gonna happen, so I always jump. So, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put pressure in our test stand. Um, I'm gonna put about one pound per second. I'm gonna bring it up real gradual, and I'm gonna pop the valve. So right now you're at about 100 and I'm at uh, about 115 right 115. now. So slowly you're actually bringing that steam up. Yes. 
I know it's going to happen any time here. Any time a valve is cold, it may test higher, but that's where thermodynamics kind of comes in. Uh, as the valve gets hotter, metal expands, the spring will lighten up. So uh, we always get the valve nice and warm, and we'll once the valve stabilizes, we'll give it three tests and make sure that the set pressure stays steady. Okay, so three times, you'd actually do that three times there to, to actually know that, yeah, that valve is, is good. Yeah. Okay, so it's make not sure just it's one pop and you're done. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was 152. 152. All right. And that's within ASME code. Uh, ASME gives you 3% on a valve set at 150, section 1. So we could set that valve as high as 154.5 or as low as 145.5. So, right. um, All right, so give it one more pop at 3, and we know that that valve's ready to go, and my heart will jump one more time. 150, right on the money. 150, right on the money. Awesome. Well, Rick, we appreciate you really kind of going through and sharing your skills, your knowledge um, with us and, uh, and hanging out at the boiling point. Appreciate you, man, all that Thank you, you do. Remember that the relief valve is a, a, a part of the boiler that is so very, very important. You want to make sure that you have a great company that uh, works on your valves, whether it's Ware, the valve shop, or another company. But it is the last defense of a boiler. Make sure you be safe. We'll talk to you soon. We appreciate Rick hanging out with us on the boiling point and how to properly test a safety valve. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to that YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on the boiling point. <coughs> Boy, it's a good thing that they don't have me do the work. <coughs> These things are ridiculously heavy.